Hey guys, it's me Jack Tembo here. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about programming or software engineering or uh, development. I don't know what you call it. I call it computer programming. You may call it software engineering. But uh, these two things are very, very different uh, from each other when you take them in a technical specification. Yeah, they are different. I'm not wrong, they are different. Yeah, so uh, in Africa, do we have software engineers? Do we have programmers? Do we have developers? The answer is yes, without going very far. There are a lot of uh, software developers or software engineers in Africa. In fact, I am one of them. Uh, some people might think that uh, Africa, uh, because Africans are black, it means that they are black even in mind. No, not at all. Do you understand? Yeah, in fact, there are a lot of uh, uh, developers, programmers in Africa, two way more than you think. I'm telling you, there are just a lot. There are just a lot, a lot, a lot. Almost, uh, in fact, all the continents in this earth, in this universe, or in this world, have got developers. <laughs> what is more? You can argue with me if you like, but that is the fact that I'm telling you about. Uh, now, in terms of uh, programming in Africa, how do Africans program? Well, programming is programming, right? Yes, programming is programming. Whether you are in the United States of America, whether you are in the United Kingdom, uh, you are in uh, Dubai, whatever you are, programming is called programming. Creating software is called creating software. That is all. Yes. So, uh, in Africa, we all know that uh, Africans, Africans, a lot of African countries are developing countries. They don't have uh, a lot of resources uh, to improve their technology skills. Yes, when you go to countries like uh, my own country, Zambia, there are a few developers, a few, a few, a few developers, I'm telling you, a few software engineers. This is why uh, it is really, really hard for a software engineer to survive in countries like Zambia. If you find a senior staff software engineer in Zambia, that person has studied software engineering on their own. They haven't been relying on what the country has to provide for them to know about computer programming. Yes. Uh, and when you're talking about uh, computer programming, <coughs> we all know that programming is about programming languages. A programming language is a language uh, that software engineers or programmers use uh, to communicate to computers. Yes, there are a lot of programming languages in the world right now, such as JavaScript, PHP, Python, Java, C, C++. You, you can name them, they're just a lot. Uh, but when you come to Africa, since a lot of uh, African countries are still developing, they're not yet developed, you find that uh, most of the programming languages that are used in Africa are those what we call legacy programming languages. An example of this legacy programming language is PHP. Why? What the hell is this programming language? PHP is considered to be a legacy programming language. For the web, yes, PHP was originally designed for the web, but it is a trash of a programming language. But since it is a thing that 99% of African developers know, it is surviving. It is surviving. And this is why PHP, yeah, I agree. I agree with anyone who can tell me that uh, PHP is almost dead. And anyone who would tell me that PHP is a dying programming language, I will say yes. But since we have got Africa, <laughs> we have got developing countries like Africa that are backing PHP up, it, it, it will survive no matter what. I'm telling you, that is the gospel truth. What I'm telling you is the gospel truth. It is like the truth from God himself. Okay? Yeah. So... Since uh, a lot of uh, African developers don't know modern technologies, 
people from uh, developed countries like uh, United States of America, the United Kingdom, are thinking as if uh, Africans cannot create real systems. <laughs> My friends, Africans can create whatever Americans can create. That is all you have to understand, my brother or my sister. I don't know who is listening to this broadcast. Yeah. So, uh, let me come to Zambia. Zambia, uh, my home nation, my home country, where I am staying here in Africa. In Zambia, uh, if you find programmers, most of the programmers that you find in Zambia are those uh, who have been to high learning institutions such as colleges or universities. Yes, and a lot of uh, programmers in Zambia don't know how to write code. They call themselves programmers, whilst all they know is HTML and CSS. Well, HTML and CSS is not a programming language. HTML, hypertext markup language, it is a markup language. CSS, Cascadian style sheet. It's not a programming language. Uh, I don't blame. I don't blame programmers here in Zambia. I blame uh, the system that we have in Africa here. It's not uh, our problem that we are a developing uh, country here in Zambia. It is none of my problems. It is not the fault for the president. It is not the fault for, for the continent. I don't blame anyone for that. But I blame, I blame programmers themselves. Uh, what I can encourage programmers is this. Before you start, uh, you start learning how to code, do a research. Do a thorough research. Research about programming languages that are in demand right now. Because it is not good whereby uh, you start studying a certain programming language. A few months later, uh, you garbage that programming language and start saying, No, uh, I never knew uh, that this programming language uh, would die, uh, things like that. My friend, think carefully. Think carefully. Also, uh, here in Zambia, if you see developers who have been uh, learning programming from uh, universities, like here in this country, Zambia, we have uh, the highest learning institution called the University of Zambia or UNZA. Yeah, I, I've been once a, a student there at the University of Zambia. I know what is going on that site. So, uh, when you go to the University of Zambia, the main programming languages that uh, they teach that site uh, is Java, C, C++, and C Sharp. Now, look at C, C++, Java. These are complicated programming languages that they are teaching to newbies, those people who are new to programming or software engineering. Because, look at, someone is new to software engineering and you're teaching them C++. What are they going to understand about? Because, uh, according to my experience in programming, if you are, you are a new person in software engineering, you have to learn the basics of software engineering and a programming language that I would uh, recommend you to start with if you are new to software engineering, is Python. Why am I saying Python? Well, Python uh, is a beginner-friendly language, one. This means that for those who are new to programming, if they really, really want to understand the basics of programming, the fundamentals of programming, Python is their best friend. Because Python, one, it has got a simple syntax. Yes, it has got a simple syntax. It is like English language. 
it, it's a programming language that is very, very close to the English language itself. When you're programming in Python, when you, you are writing Python uh, programs, you feel as if uh, you are writing English itself, unlike Java, C, C++. Look, look at that. Java, C, C++, those are difficult languages. Even, uh, even people who already know how to program in other programming languages, if they are learning C, C++ and Java uh, for the first time, they find it difficult for them to grasp those technical terms. Okay? Yeah. So, never learn C, C++ as a first programming language or Java as a first programming language. Do you understand? I'll slap you if you don't understand. Secondly, never learn PHP. You are destroying your minds over here. PHP is not good at all. We've got a good uh, PHP framework such as Laravel, but doesn't mean that PHP is good. PHP is surviving because of uh, WordPress. We've got WordPress, a rich content management system that is piling. Uh, I know maybe it's more than 30% of the websites on the internet, but that doesn't matter to me. Or what you have to know is that uh, if you are really, really serious about learning how to code, avoid WordPress. Since you're avoiding WordPress, also avoid PHP. PHP is really, really bad. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.